Okay guys, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make uh, different marks on your clay when you are using this graffito technique. Um, you are welcome to use various different types of tools. Um, here I have two carving tools that have different ends. Um, I have a needle tool and I have a few different um, extra small loop tools. Um, doing this technique on your clay is one of those things that the tool kind of suits the purpose. And so whatever you see fit in terms of which tools you like the most for what you need to do to the clay is totally up to you. Now remember at this point, you need to have clay that is leather hard. I've waited for my piece of clay to get leather hard. And then I've applied a few layers of underglaze, black underglaze to it um, before I do this technique. It is not fired. This clay is unfired and it is leather hard. That is the stage that we wanna be doing this in. Um, we can still do it within the bone dry stage, but you're very much at risk if your clay um, is bone dry that you will end up chipping as you are carving and take away a lot more of the glaze than you are intending to. So I'm just gonna do a few samples of different lines that you can do on um, clay. I'm first gonna use this tool. Um, and it's double-sided, it's a carving tool. I can use the tool in a few different ways. I can scrape a section of clay off um, using the end. I can use the point to carve a line. Now obviously if I press a little harder, the line is gonna be much deeper, which in turn might make the line a little wider. Um, I can also, like I said, flip to the other side of the tool and I can use it to create a different kind of line. I can drag it across the surface to create other kinds of lines as well. Um, if you ever get little pieces of clay that come up and they're not sticking to your tool, never brush them away with your hand. Grab a clean paintbrush and just brush them away with the paintbrush. My clay is still very leather hard, so luckily the tools um, are just pulling the clay up and it's sticking to my tools rather than just sitting on the surface. But if it's sitting on the surface, don't brush it away with your fingers. Grab a paintbrush and brush it away. So those are just a few ways that you can make different lines. This tool is pretty cool because you can uh, align it and push into the clay to carve and it will pull the clay out in a like V pattern. Now remember, as you do this, you want to actually pull the clay up, so you might need to change the orientation of the tool. Initially, I had it laying down much flatter, and all it did was press into the clay, as you can see. But I need to remove that layer of underglaze, so I wanna turn the tool a little bit more upright. So another tool, um, we have a different type of carving tool. It's got a flat end, it's curved, and another flat end. So I can, um, again, draw deep lines. I can scrape across the surface in a large area. I might need to do that multiple times to lift that glaze up completely. Um, I can use it to draw a really skinny line I can scrape away little bits like this, depending on what I'm wanting to do. So that's how I could use that tool. Again, a needle tool, you want to use it like you are drawing um, to get a nice, fine, thin line. Just make sure that you're actually seeing the color of the clay beneath it and not just the underglaze. Loop tools are gonna do the same thing that other tools did when we drag them across the surface. They're going to lift up large areas of clay. And so if you are wanting to do a more negative style design where you want to see more of the color of the clay rather than the underglaze, you can use a loop tool to carve around your pencil marks that you create on the clay for your drawing. So again, you wanna be brushing these away with a paintbrush, not picking them up with your fingers. All right, so that's a flat loop tool. So it's going to take away an area of clay that is flat. 
if I use a round loop tool, it's going to take an area of clay that's more round as it dips in. So this dips into the surface of the clay in a rounded shape, whereas this is a flat shape. You can also grab certain loop tools in there that might be bent. Please don't bend any of my loop tools to make them work for your purposes, but if you find one that's bent that can pull out a thinner line, then you are welcome to use them in that way. But do not bend any of the tools. There are a lot of loop tools in there that are misshapen just from use. Find those and use those for that purpose. And that's all that I have as far as how to um, use various different tools in order, in order to do the scraffito technique.